So I guess just first off, just tell me what you've done. So obviously we're at this time of the pandemic. Um, there's a lot of misinformation and rumours flying around. And, and one of the, the pieces of information that we were troubled by was this information about, well, if you're a contact lens wearer, you should really stop wearing lenses and revert to spectacles. A, because wearing lenses puts you greater risk of developing COVID-19 and B, spectacles can provide some level of protection. We were interested by that. And so what we effectively did was five of us did a systematic literature review, looking at whether there was any evidence to support those two things. And that was not the case. Basically, we were able to show that there is no scientific evidence at this moment in time that patients should be concerned about wearing their contact lenses and should continue. So long as they exercise regular good hygiene, they're perfectly safe to continue wearing their lenses. Why do you think this came up? It, it's an unusual situation in which I was quite surprised by this recommendation uh, that came out. And I think part of it is because there's this concern um, around the fact that a very small number of people, um, primarily in China, so in the, in the outbreak in China, um, they found that you could isolate or find the virus in tears, and that also a very, very small number of people um, actually exhibited uh, a level of conjunctivitis. So I think that concern about stuff on the ocular surface, and then contact lenses, and then hygiene, so you're touching your lenses, that's kind of what, what put this together. But basically what we were able to show, and, and that's really the five facts that we have as the takeaways from this message, is that if you look at the science, you don't just look at the, well, I think that's the case. You know, the supposition at this time is not a good thing. Let's, let's, let's base our decisions on facts. And when you look at the facts that we have at the moment, basically there's, there's five takeaways. One, contact lens wearers can continue to wear their lenses, as I've just said. Secondly, hygiene is critically important, but that's not change. That's not change in the time of the pandemic. You know, patients should always wash their hands with soap and water and dry their hands before they handle the lenses. That's the case now. It was the case before. Thirdly, spectacles don't provide protection. Um, if you look at the, the, the uh, CDC, the CDC also say that spectacles do not replace PPE. There, you know, there is a gap around it. They do not protect you. So patients shouldn't get lulled into a false sense of security that spectacles are protecting them. Fourth, CDC and WHO guidance. You should never touch your face with unwashed hands. But again, that doesn't matter whether you're a contact lens wearer, spectacle wearer, or require no vision correction at all. And in fact, with the recommendation now that we're seeing that, or with the advice rather, that we're seeing that the virus can actually stay around for many hours on hard plastics, Actually, spectacle wearers need to be advised that when they're handling their spectacles, they need to also clean their spectacles with soap, water, and dry them off. You know, that is new. That's not something that's ever been thought about before. But again, that really comes back down to that WHO guidance. Don't touch your face with unwashed hands. It's the same with spectacles. And the final takeaway is really as to when it is that contact lens wearers should cease lens wear, and that's when they're sick. If you're ill for any reason, and we're not just talking about COVID-19 here, but if ever you're ill, but particularly if you're ill with an upper respiratory tract infection, then that's the time to cease contact lens wear, go to spectacles, and if ever you're concerned, don't do the doctor internet or doctor Google thing. Speak to your eye care practitioner. They're the ones who best have the advice to, uh, to guide you in safe contact lens wear. And so why is it that you should stop wearing contact lenses when you have, especially an upper respiratory tract infection? It's really because of that connection. So the connection between, obviously, your, your throat, nose and your eyes, um, all that's linked, obviously, through the drainage channels. Then anything that's there can actually back up and actually provide a, a, a viral infection. And we've known that for many, many years. Again, that's not just that's not related to COVID-19. That's uh, that's been the advice that we've been giving to contact lens wearers forever and a day to reduce your chance of getting an inflammatory reaction on the ocular surface. By producing this resource, I mean, what's, what's your aim to try and educate people? Two things. One is, is definitely to educate people. It's to educate practitioners, first of all, in terms of the, look, you, you are going to get challenged by patients about this. Here's the fact as they stand at the moment. Here's an opportunity for you to read a peer-reviewed piece of literature um, you can download the article free of charge. It's got 116 references 
going right through from the mid 80s right up to papers that only came out actually a couple of weeks ago and are not actually yet published in paper form. They're only actually available online. So great resource from a science-based perspective. And that recommendation about um, it's safe to wear contact lenses and that spectacles don't provide protection. Almost exactly the same time as our paper came out, the CDC came out with that exact same advice. So this isn't just advice coming from us and from the scientific literature, it's also coming from the CDC. That's the first thing. The second thing is really to create an awareness for the public. The public are concerned, obviously, as they are in this, the, 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 you know, the time of the pandemic is tough. People are worried about all kinds of things, their job, um, life in general. Let's not have them be worried too much about their contact lenses, so let's reassure them. So we've actually developed uh, a number of resources that the practitioners can use that they can send out to their patients an infographic, both a store one and a video one, and a website that you can go to either yourself or direct your patients to. It's called covidifacts.org. Covidifacts.org. And that basically has all of these downloadable resources, the paper, infographics, videos, information, press releases from us and the CDC. So kind of a one-stop shop for science-based information about COVID-19 and contact lenses. I mean, is there any information regarding eye symptoms or just eyes in general and COVID-19 aside from this sort of misinformation that we've seen? It's really not very much. So there's some information that's come out from China again on, on some patients about conjunctivitis um, in sick patients um, being an early sign, but even that occurs in very low numbers. We're looking at one to 3% of the report so far. So, so really at the moment, COVID-19's effect on the eye is not that well known. Now, if you look at other coronaviruses, there have been publications that have come out from earlier coronaviruses, but most of those complications that occur are uh, basically inflammatory complications that hit the posterior section of the eye, so not the, not the anterior portion. But again, that's also detailed on our paper. So if, you're in, so if uh, you know, people are interested in coronaviruses and the eye generally, that is summarized in our paper, um, aside from contact lens issues. We had a few questions about moving patients from reusables to daily disposables. I mean, do you have an opinion on whether it would be prudent to move people towards a different mod modality? So that was one of the things that we also looked at in our paper. We actually looked at whether there was any evidence around the fact that the, the pandemic has actually changed the risks associated with different lens types. And again, there is no information out on that at all at the moment. So basically, whether patients are wearing daily disposables or reusables, that risk hasn't changed with the, with the pandemic. And so long as patients use their solutions in the way in which they've been advised to by their practitioner and follow the guidance in the package insert, they will be perfectly safe to continue with whatever lens type that they're currently using. Is there anything else that you feel needs to be touched on in this? I think one of the things for practitioners to think about is this is a real opportunity for them to engage with their patients from an educational standpoint. You know, this we, we can turn this, this disadvantage about this misinformation about contact lenses actually into a positive to re-educate our patients about the importance of cleaning and washing their hands, ensuring that they don't overwear their lenses, replacing them when they're supposed to be, so replacing on time, and also cleaning your case regularly and replacing it regularly. I think that information, if we can get that out to the public, that's information that will actually last beyond this COVID-19 pandemic. and will actually be a positive thing for patients and for the contact lens industry but i do i do want to reiterate the fact that we do need to engage with our patients to ensure them that at this time when they're that they're really concerned about lots of things one of the things they don't need to worry about is their contact lenses so long as they exercise good hygiene and also to get across to patients that if they have a question or a concern now is the time to ask their practitioner not to just google on the internet